Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Until not long ago, the ocean floor had been a complete mystery to man. Its waters have kept new environments or natural resources secret. However, new technologies developed in recent decades have allowed us to understand this area better and exploit its potential. With the arrival of oil rigs in the last century, the extraction of oil increased exponentially around the world, and oil production became a common sight. The use of new technologies, such as sonar systems and data processing, has helped this extraction process. Such development has even opened the way to discovering new resources and has helped to understand the behavior of the oceans better. This search to discover the behavior of the seas has resulted in the creation of unique ships specialized in these scientific studies. An example is the ram-formed Titan a seismic vessel capable of exploring and mapping the ocean floor, particularly for oil and gas exploration. This vessel features one of the widest stern sections at 230 feet. This allows the ship to gain stability and more efficiently tow seismic equipment. Those tools necessary for seismic surveying include air guns, streamers, and advanced navigation and positioning systems. To carry the heavy machinery and the crew, the vessel is powered by three variable pitch propellers, each providing 6,000 kilowatts of thrust. However, the ram form can move with only two engines, allowing the crew to do maintenance work without interrupting any operation. Considering its purpose, the ship required high engineering behind its construction. Titan-class vessels were designed to fully utilize the potential of acoustic sensors, also known as geostreamer technology. Its strong hull required 4,000 tons of raw steel to build, showing its massive scale. This is also due to its double hull design, which means the ship has a redundant barrier in case the outer hull is damaged and leaks. For this, more than 600 welders and fitters were involved in the construction process to finish the vessel on schedule. This vessel has a unique offering to our clients. It can do all kinds of seismic. We can do repeat seismic, 4Ds. We can do wide azimuth, multi azimuth, and HD 3D. Once built, the ram form can perform its main purpose, which is to perform seismic surveys. That analysis is a form of searching method that collects information on geological structures and properties underground through acoustic waves. To achieve this, the vessel tows measurement devices called seismic streamers. They comprise a series of hydrophones that receive information on reflection waves from the ocean seabed and GPS data. This seismic equipment collects the data ensuring the target area is completely covered. Once the survey is completed, the data is processed and analyzed to identify potential oil reserves or interesting geological structures. This data is usually acquired as ultra-high-density 3D seismic data, 
which is an extremely detailed and complete imaging of the ocean floor. The crew can access workboats inside the seismic vessel to ensure those measuring devices are placed and used correctly. Those compact boats are located inside the main ship and are used to assist in towing or mooring operations. With this, they help to position and secure the sensors during seismic surveys. However, they are also used to transport provisions between the main vessel and other platforms. Yet, the vessel also counts on faster methods to transport provisions, and more importantly, crew members. A helipad on the upper deck is usually used to receive helicopters when crew members are replaced. Those crew members work aboard vessels like the Ramform Titan on rotational schedules. So after a period, they are replaced by a new team, ensuring continuous operation inside the ship. Although the capabilities of ships like the Ramform are greatly appreciated, it does not exclude that other types of systems have been developed for ocean analysis. An example is the Floating Instrument Platform, or FLIP, an open ocean research platform owned by the U.S. Office of Naval Research and operated by the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. It was decommissioned in 2023. However, during its 60 years of use, it worked as a floating laboratory focused on acoustics and ocean surveillance. Its design made it possible to achieve those capabilities, with its most remarkable feature being able to flip from a horizontal position to a vertical position, just like a spar buoy. This gave the flip great stability, allowing it to remain almost motionless even with rough conditions. To achieve this, the rear ballast tanks of the 355-foot-long buoy were filled with 700 tons of seawater, while the frontal side was pumped with air, causing it to rise above sea level. This flipping process lasted approximately 30 minutes, as it was a procedure that required precision so as not to cause any hazard. During this procedure, the crew was positioned on the deck with life jackets, waiting while the platform slowly flipped. Even with no propulsion system, the flip's operations either for flipping or to support scientific needs, were powered by 340 kilowatts from three diesel generators. When fully operational, the flip carried a total of 11 researchers and five crew members to sustain a 30-day operation without resupply. Besides food, Fresh water was carried in a 1,500-gallon tank and replenished daily by a 31-gallon-per-hour reverse osmosis water maker. With supplies secured, the team could focus their energy on research inside two 500-square-foot scientific laboratories.
the most important one included an arrangement of Doppler sonars developed by the Marine Physical Laboratory. This 75 kilohertz sonar was capable of measuring the movement of the ocean to an accuracy of 0.3 inches per second. Vessels like the FLIP have opened the gate for more researchers to focus on the sea. However, to increase the scientific capabilities in oceanographic studies, the development of autonomous underwater vehicles has become increasingly important. Those types of vehicles are programmed at the surface and released to navigate a predefined path beneath the ocean, gathering data autonomously as it goes. This makes them an attractive alternative for underwater search and exploration, since they are cheaper than manned vehicles. Some AUVs can rapidly travel over long distances, covering hundreds of kilometers efficiently. This capability allows them to respond quickly to changes in ocean conditions. To operate research missions, such vessels carry a wide variety of instruments to gather many data sets. Those instruments may include conductivity temperature depth sensors, fluorometers, or pH sensors. Similar instruments are used by seafloor ecosystems evaluation vessels, like those used by Nauru Ocean Resources. Their purpose is to understand the environmental impacts of deep sea mining activities. For this, tools like box core and multi core instruments are deployed to collect sediment and nodule samples from the seabed. With those samples, scientists can perform biological, geochemical, and geological analyses to determine the health of the ecosystem. This research is enhanced by using ROVs equipped with specialized cameras to observe fauna attached to nodules and other hard substrates, such as sponges and corals. Also, an AUV is deployed to map and image the seafloor detailing the extent of the sedimentation and locating the megafaunal communities in different areas of influence. This exploration has given rise to various designs and models of autonomous underwater vehicles. Universities like the University of New Hampshire or the University of Rhode Island alongside organizations like the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, developed three autonomous systems. The DX Autonomous Surface Vessel is used as a mapping platform capable of 10 knots and provides a communication relay to other autonomous systems. The MOBOT was built for midwater exploration using high-end camera systems and a DNA sampler. Finally, the Deep Autonomous Profiler collects samples throughout the water column using environmental data samplers and Niskin bottles. This shows that the development of multiple tools, systems, and research vessels for underwater research has played an important role for scientists to continue to explore the unknown. Advanced sensors, cameras, and sampling equipment have provided valuable data on oceanic behavior, which contributes to our understanding of climate change, biodiversity, and natural resources. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.